At Dickie's Barbecue, 81 years ago, my grandfather started using St. Louis ribs. The reason that it's called a St. Louis cut is there was a different butchers in different parts of the country. A lot of the big pork markets and the pork processors were in St. Louis. They came up with a certain cut and it was a kind of a box cut of ribs. And so there's a deckle on the back of the rib. that They cut that extra meat off. Then they cut the end ribs off here. And then also the ribs is they're kind of an oblong shape. If, and naturally they go like this. And so they cut that excess that what we call the knuckle off of these. And so you get a very consistent size. I can tell you that at Dickie's Barbecue, we've always used a two and three quarter pound rib. It doesn't have the excess small, you know, rib ends on it that you really don't know what to do with that, that I, our guests that eat in our restaurants don't really like very much. But it's a very, it's a very consistent, it's a very meaty product. Uh, it's very different than a baby back rib, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not a huge fan of back ribs at all, so I don't know what your feelings are on those. No, they're too lean. It's too far up on the animal. This is closer down to the, the, the pork belly, and that's where the bacon is, and that's where all the flavor's at. Actually, if you leave them on for an extra 30 minutes, the bones will fall out. That's when you just grab a big hoagie, slap it between a hoagie, and just pull the bones oh, out, and now you got a sandwich. I, I, I tell you what, there, <laughs> there's nothing better than a rib meat sandwich. I've grown up as a barbecue restaurant guy, but Phil came from a more of a competition background, and we differ a little bit on the doneness. Yes. And so he likes a little bit more chew or a little bit more pull in his. And I've, in, in the restaurant, we cook it longer in a much more tender kind of, you know, fall apart in your, in your mouth kind of a thing. Like my dad's always said like, you know, you can just like shake the meat like right off the rib. And so it's kind of a different, two different like schools of thought. I look at pork is a, is a wonderful canvas. But you've got to like put a ton of flavor on this thing, you know, to, to really make it what you want. Whether you're looking for inspiration for your next barbecue event, from recipes to rubs, meats, or even craft sausages, we've got you covered at barbecueathome.com.